Coach Ronski, um, can you just talk about your boys' effort tonight and you know to, to put it all aside and really just focus on business, which had to be hard. Um, I'm so thankful, relieved a little bit. There's so many emotions floating around right now. I'm hoping that my son's doing okay in his game. Before the game, it was wet on the uh, goalpost. And I brought our kids up and I drew a big smiley face. Put Dre's name on it. I just want them to have that in their heart. I don't, I don't ever want this to be forgotten. I don't ever want him to be forgotten. Because he stood for so much what's right about our kids. You don't have to have $8 billion. You don't have to have... You have to be a straight A student, even though he was becoming a really good student. What I love is a heart of gold. And that's what that kid had, is a heart of gold. And I'm proud of the way our kids competed today. I mean, they did some really good things. Um, was it difficult to keep him on task because there was so much peripheral things going on? It seems like they came out and they did take care of business. I think they were more on task than I was, to be honest with you. I really, I. I was very unready for this game. Thank God for my staff. I told Noah Mitchell before the game, I said, I need you more of this game than I ever have because I just was honest with this. This is when I need you guys to pick me because I'm, I'm, I'm ready, but I'm not. And I just have so much in my heart for this son and, 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 and really, and, just proud of the way our kids honored, responded. All the things that came here today, the banners and the Chardon sent us all these towels. And the Strongsville families raised over $500. I mean, that is such incredible kindness. And in a world where we hear all the negative stuff, and believe me, this has been incredibly sad. But from that adversity has come so much love. I'm just grateful to be a part of it.